so I was trying to trim yesterday's video because last night it wouldn't upload from my phone. I think it was 16 minutes, so it ended up being too long. And I just tried to trim it, and the part that I wanted to delete, I deleted the rest of the video and kept the part I wanted to delete. So, fail. I'm going to try to do this really quick because I just took my second dose of Pico. Um, and got to get ready for the hospital soon, so don't mind me, I just woke up a little bit ago. So I want to answer the first question that I got on the second video, and also while I'm on the topic, I just want to thank everyone who's asked questions or commented on my videos. The main point of doing this is, and I've been wanting to do something to help other people going through things for a really long time, um, I used to volunteer for an organization, and I still do some things, but it was more about the money and not about helping, actually helping people, and I have a psychology degree, so I really want to talk to people and share experiences and be there for each other, so that's the main purpose of doing these videos, and I hope that I can help someone, and you guys can share with me your experiences and ask questions, and we can help each other. That's why I want to do these videos is so that we're not alone. I feel alone all the time. Maybe you feel alone all the time. And I want to be there for each other and we can create like a YouTube family and motivate each other. So anyway, yeah. Um, the first question was, do they give you um, like accepted laxatives to take? And the answer is yes. So, option one was the Pico Salax, which I picked, just because that's what I've always done. And the second option is called Colite slash Go Lightly. And they give you instructions um, of how to take it. The other one's pretty similar, too. You just make it really cold, drink it. Excuse me. And then you need um four liters of fluid to drink. Um, anyway, I wanted to update you guys on the night before, so last night, this will be my night before video, um, I took the two tablets two nights before, and it's supposed to take anywhere from 6 to 12 hours to have any effect on you, but not for me, so it took 28 minutes before I was in the bathroom and had to start going, so um, at 9.28 was my first in, for that 24 hours is about 11 times, so it's not too, too bad. I uh, just got to make sure I drink all my fluids and stuff. So, it was 11 times. By that time, it starts to hurt. Like, your butt starts to hurt. I had a little blood. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm trying to do this video over again. I'm probably going to miss a bunch of stuff, but I'll try to do a quick one. So, as soon as I started taking the two tablets, you hear your stomach start making all the rumblies and you feel stuff moving and a grooving. Do I really say that's like my dad in my head? Um, yeah, you start hearing stuff. So it only took me 28 minutes. So just be prepared that if you do have Crohn's or a bowel disease or something like that, it might hit you really quickly, faster than a normal person would. So, that's my warning. Um, I did have to stay home, and when I woke up, I was extremely exhausted. I could barely keep my eyes open, so I just rested most of the day. Um, after I took my first Pico packet, I got really, really nauseous. Like, I had to lie down, I thought I was going to throw up, hot and nauseous, and going to the bathroom all the time, so... Other than that, I've just been drinking fluids. I did have some chicken broth yesterday. You can't have that. The other disclaimer I want to do is just when you're picking out your fluids to drink, like Powerades and Gatorades, red and purple are not accepted, so you can't get red or purple anything. So red cranberry juice or red popsicles or purple popsicles, freezies, anything like that. Don't drink red or purple because it'll affect whatever. Um... Yeah, so just be careful of red or purple. Then, um, I did have an hour or two where I was, like, really, really irritable. 
I had spent like all night and all day just with me and my son who's not even two so all I was thinking about was food once my husband and my sister got up and hung out with me for a bit I felt a million times better but for an hour or two I was just like I had no patience for anything everything was bothering me total roid rage if you've ever been on steroids but I'm not on steroids right now it was like accelerated roid rage so yeah that happened um after that I just got a shower and, and tried to get as much ready as I could for t this morning while my sister was still with me and helping with my son. And then we just went to bed early, like around 9, and tried to get some sleep, but I was still up. So other things that I didn't put on my list yesterday would have been, um, make sure you have lots of toilet paper because you're going to need it. And if you have any consideration at all for the people you live with, you might want to buy some air freshener or air spray or something for the bathroom, and toilet paper, and maybe some freezies, popsicles, that kind of stuff to make it more interesting, broth, um, yeah. I just really want to do this quickly. Um, so yesterday, that was about my day. It's not too exciting other than you'll be in the bathroom a lot. And just make sure you have lots and lots of fluids, that you have some help, um, have some company, get your mind off the hunger. Because literally all I think about is food. Oh, I could go make this right now. Oh, no, I can't eat it. Oh my gosh, I want this for supper. Oh, no, I can't eat it. Um, what am I going to have once I can finally start eating? What what will be my... What am I going to want as soon as I can eat again? Or what are we going to eat all day Saturday? Because I want to have a feast. Like, I just want to eat all day long. <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Like, all I can think about is food. So, today this isn't too bad yet. But, anyway guys. Please let me know if you're nervous about an upcoming scope. If you if it's your first time, if there's anything that I missed so far that you want to know about or share your experiences with me, I'd love, love, love to hear what you've been through because I don't, other than my dad, really, I don't have anyone that's been through this other than myself. So share with me your experiences. How did it go for you? How were the nights before? Did you have the rage? Did you think about food? Uh, any questions for me? And I'll try to make a video today, day of the scope, as much as I can. And I'll upload that as soon as I'm up to it. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And if I can help someone, then that'll make it worth it. That's the point of doing this. And as you can tell, I'm not used to being taking videos of myself and stuff. So bear with me as I get used to it, and hopefully I'll get more comfortable. And, and you guys will get comfortable asking questions and sharing experiences. So subscribe so that you'll get updated when I post new videos. And let your friends know if they're going through stuff, or if they've just been diagnosed, or if you know someone who's sick, or whatever. It doesn't have to be Crohn's. So let's just make a family that we can all help each other, okay? Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. It's Friday. It's sunny out. Get out there and enjoy it and have a great weekend, okay? Bye!